Hello everybody, this is JT Productions and welcome back to another preview and prediction video. Today I'll be previewing the MAC Championship game. This year's MAC Championship game is going to be between the 7-5 Toledo Rockets and the 9-3 Ohio Bobcats. Toledo is this year's worst conference championship contender. I don't remember the last time there was a conference championship uh, player that had less than four wins, probably. But I guess the MAC West or whatever was just terrible this year. This game is going to be in Detroit at Ford Field, so that's pretty cool. I honestly had no idea that's where it was played until looking at this video. Uh, Toledo right now is favored by two and a half, so this is supposed to be a very close game. Now, they didn't play earlier in the season, but they had similar opponents. Let's go over Toledo first. Toledo's notable losses this year were a 17 to 10 to 14, sorry, 17 to 14 loss to San Diego State, a 34 to 27 loss to Buffalo, a 42 to 35 loss to Bowling Green, and a 20 to 14 loss to Western Michigan. So uh, they're all very close losses. Their notable, notable wins are a 52 to 32 win over NIU. 52-31 win over Kent State, and a 38-17 win over Central Michigan. So what I'm taking from that is if uh, if Toledo gets above uh, 35, then they most likely win the game. Uh, but that's before even looking at the Ohio part. So let's keep going. Key players, Daquan Finn is a very good quarterback for them. He has 1,900 yards, 1,973 yards passing, a 58.6 completion percentage, which I believe is one is either the worst or tied for the worst completion percentage of a quarterback in a championship game this year. 21 touchdowns, 12 interceptions, with 522 yards rushing and eight touchdowns. Their running back, Jaquez Stewart, has 566 yards rushing with three touchdowns. And then their receiver, George Juan Newton, has 711 yards receiving with nine touchdowns. On defense, Jamal Hines has six and a half sacks and is leading his team. And leading his team in interceptions, Quinion Mitchell has five. So, looks like they're a very offensive team and defense is secondary to them. I wouldn't, I'm not saying that for sure. But that's just what I'm taking with their wins and losses. <clears throat> now to the Bobcats. Their notable loss was to Kent State, a 31-24 loss in overtime. And notable wins are against Bowling Green, 38-14, and Buffalo, 45-24. Their key players are Curtis Rourke, who has 3,200 yards, uh, 56, 3,256 yards, Passing, 25 touchdowns, 4 interceptions with a 69.1 completion percentage. Cy Bangura with 884 yards rushing and 11 touchdowns. Sam Wig, Wig, Wigulusk, 814 yards receiving and 11 touchdowns. And then Bryce Houston, who leads the team with 5.5 sacks. This, uh, you see... Like the last one, these two teams are close enough to where I think it could go either way. The MAC, no offense to the MAC, but them and Conference USA are the two conferences that hold the least talent. I think the Sun Belt has overcame them. The American definitely has, and the Mountain West has. So, with that being said, I could see this going either way. I could see being coin flip. But, I think that Toledo out overpowers Ohio. <laughs> I think they cover the two and a half. So, that's what I think about the MAC championship. It's going to be cool to watch just because I th I'd like to keep a look on Daquan Finn. I've watched him play a few times before, especially last year when he played against Notre Dame, I believe. But I have a feeling that this could be some sort of a shootout. 
Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and go dogs.